Hi, my name is Derek Henry with Accelivate Consulting. In this video, I'm going to give a quick overview of the Accelivate add-in for Microsoft PowerPoint. Hopefully you've had a chance to see the Excel add-in overview video as the PowerPoint add-in works very similarly. Once you install that add-in, you'll notice a custom tab is added to the ribbon at the top. And within this tab, you'll see the different categories or groups of icons. And within each group, you'll see subgroups or menus. When you click on them, you'll see a list of macros that you can run. You can set keyboard shortcuts for all of these macros, and if you've done that, you'll notice the keystroke right here in brackets next to the name. There are over 120 macros within the add-in. They can save you time and frustration with shortcuts to common functions that you use all the time. Many of them combine steps for common tasks like quick formatting, navigation. Remember that you generally cannot undo macros, so make sure that you're saving your files often. There are three ways to run macros in the add-in. First, you can go up to the um, ribbon and run it straight from the menus. Secondly, you can run keyboard shortcuts, which are much quicker. Now, in, in PowerPoint, it does not natively support keyboard shortcuts unless you use third-party add-ins, which I've listed on the product page. But you can, you can add the macros to the Quick Access Toolbar up here, and then you can reference them by using the Alt shortcut. So if I press Alt 2, I can run this little picker here and it shows all the keyboard shortcuts that I've assigned that could be used if I was to install a third-party add-in. So right here I want to click Y for the toggle um, fill color. And then I can run it again and again by just using a couple keystrokes. The th third way to run macros within the add-in is to use a search macros box. So if I want to run that same one toggling the fill color, I can just type in a few characters and the search results pop up and I can click on one, press enter, and then it'll run just like that. If you want to see a list of all the macros that are available in the add-in, you actually can run it within the Excel add-in. Just search for the Accelivate PowerPoint macro list and it'll add a sheet to the active workbook that lists all of the macros and the details around them. There are a couple of helpful features that we've included in the add-in that can save you a lot of time. Uh, one of them we just saw with the toggle highlight color. So there's about 10 different toggle macros that are similar to that one. The ones I use frequently are the toggle highlight color macro, the toggle font color macro, the toggle number format macro, the toggle border macro, and the toggle font type macro. There are also about 25 picker macros. And so with these, notice how there's about 25 of them if you scroll all the way down. With these, what you're going to see is a few options, and all you have to do is type one or two keystrokes to run whatever it is that's in the list. So in this case, one is the default, which you can set by clicking the box or typing out default, like the instructions say. And you can actually set these different colors here to whatever default that you want. So if the default one is the one that you already want, all you got to do is click Enter, and it runs it, and it changes the format to whatever you want. There are a whole bunch of these. And the idea is to keep your hands off the mouse and on the keyboard because it's a lot easier to type, keep, keep your hands on the keyboard and type faster than it is to use a mouse and point at precisely what you need to. The ones I use frequently are the copy special picker, the paste special picker, the insert picker, format picker, slide action picker, print picker, and find replace picker. These toggle and picker macros can save a ton of time due to how often you use them. To me, they save about an hour a week across the entire add-in suite just because I use them probably a few hundred times throughout the week. Lastly, you can actually create custom macros. So if you look over here in the custom group, within settings you can set them and you can create and edit the files that you need to do this. And then you've got two different menus here that you can set 10 macros apiece. So I've created this little example here, insert happy face. And so this, mac this um, macro right here is actually stored in a separate add-in file. And the benefit here is that you can reference those macros from the ribbon or from keyboard shortcuts or from the search macros box just like you can with all the other ones. If you want to share those with coworkers or share them with separate computers, you can do that. That's it for the Accelivate PowerPoint add-in. Don't forget to download your free 30-day trial of the Accelivate add-in suite and see the overview video videos for the Excel add-in and the Word add-in. Also at the Accelivate.co website, you'll find more videos, example files, and blog articles. Thanks for watching and have an excellent day.